welcome back to the channel everyone we are here once again at the brooklyn botanic gardens if you remember the last time we came on very hot and muggy summer day unfortunately we were rained out but today is not a problem it is sunny it is gorgeous my pasty legs are finally tasting the air after a hard long winter but we are back in full bloom and what's better is that we've got some beautiful cherry blossoms to show you right here in the park. If you remember the last time that we were here, the bonsai collection is unfortunately still closed due to COVID. However, we can peek through the window and really enjoy and appreciate the beauty and artistry of these wondrous trees. Even through the mask, you can smell just all the amazing aromas coming from these flowers. It is exactly what we needed. Hello! <laughs> there's some, there's some cherry blossoms right there. First taste. just can't help but feel the relief from everyone around us. It's such a beautiful day. Like I said, the winter was just so tough and so long. Finally out in this beautiful sun, the flowers are blooming, the animals are romping. Oh. <laughs> such a relief. This is what we needed. I'm glad I didn't break my leg. <laughs> and of course, what would a visit to the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens be without coming to the Japanese Hill and Pond Gardens? And we are in luck. The entire circle is open. The last time it was closed, but now we can show you the full tour of this magnificent garden. It's just so beautiful. Tucked away on the path of the hill and pond garden is a nice little shrine dedicated to the god Inari. I believe the shrine was built in 1915, made totally out of wood. Inari is the god of prosperity and wealth, so if you're feeling like you need a little extra, this is the place to come.
get chased by geese. Let me get chased by geese. By geese. By geese. We are here at the Cherry Esplanade, not Promenade, I was wrong. And as you can see behind me, they are in full bloom. So many people here enjoying the beauty and tranquility of the blossoms. It is beyond my expectations. Absolutely, absolutely wonderful, blowing me away. I was a little concerned that we might have been too late, actually, since it is fairly late into the season, almost into May, but the Sakura gods have smiled upon us and have granted us their beautiful gift. Let's go enjoy them. So the beauty of the cherry blossom, well, there are many beautiful things about them. As you can see, they come in all different hues. Oh. <laughs> really just is so nice and pleasant uh, but the beauty and almost travesty of the cherry blossoms is that they are a reminder of the impermanence of life to let things go and just enjoy them in the moment it's almost it's almost ironic that we're filming them because that is the exact antithesis of what the cherry blossom is as we're capturing it forever. But we're doing it for you, so hopefully you can forgive us. <laughs> I like to kind of take a step back, enjoy the tree or trees as a whole, and just appreciate kind of the fullness of the tree itself. It's almost like a beautiful pink cloud of cotton candy right here on Earth. After viewing from afar, I'd like to get in a little closer and really just appreciate the beauty of a single branch or a single collection of the flower. The flower itself is just so unique. If you are enjoying them up close, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you, please, please, please don't touch the tree. Don't touch the flowers and definitely don't pick the flowers. Just enjoy them for what they are, where they are. And I think you'll find a lot more enjoyment that way. We are in the Cherry Walk, right next to the Esplanade. As you can see, a little more enclosed. It's got that nice kind of tunnel feel to it. Really, really pleasant. I feel like we're in a movie. <laughs> Just need the leaves to be falling off and staring down into the samurai or something. Almost as much fun as looking at the trees is watching the people who are also enjoying them. It really warms your heart up. Shall we? go up the Robert S. Wilson overlook. Shout out to our friend Elizabeth, who was so oh, absolutely gracious and donated two tickets for us 
so that we could bring the park to you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much. We are so grateful. Thank you for joining us on another episode as we returned to the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens triumphant this time. <laughs> so triumphant. To show you the remainder of the Japanese hill and pond garden, I think you can see why I love it so much. Especially the cherry blossom esplanade. Just so unexpectedly delightful. So as you move forward in your life, let us be like the Sakura, appreciating everything for what it is in the moment. And remember to take a small break away from your busy life to really enjoy everything you've got. So we'll see you on another episode of The Wasabi Apple. This place is the closest in the city that I feel to being in Japan. This place is the closest to being in Japan that I can feel in the city. I feel the closest to Japan in the city right here in these gardens. And I think you can see why. That's be careful of the tall grass. If ever there was a wild Pokemon, it'd be in here. <laughs>